What's good everybody, it is your boy Cap back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys. Today I am here to discuss, one, why KO has not been announced slash confirmed in any way, shape, or form because there does seem to be some confusion in the community. And then also guys, I do want to take a look at the newest English translations of the uh, new V-Jump scan that we got because these new translations may not have any like new info or anything like that in terms of what we can expect in the DLC but at the same time it does give us an insight and look into how Khalifa's skills will be working once she actually does release now first and foremost I want to tackle the Kale subject because again a lot of people seem to be misinformed or confused on this subject and think that Kale either is going to be in this DLC or Kale has a chance of being in this DLC. And let me say right here, right now, one, she is not announced for this DLC at this point in time. And two, there may be a slight chance of the character happening, but I honestly do not think we will see any more characters in this DLC pack. And if we do, it'll most likely be the hero vote winner, which I still do think is going to be UI Omen Goku. But why Kale is not? A part of this DLC as it stands right now because a lot of people were confused or not I wouldn't even say confused I guess misinformed just based off of the new Kanton City TV event that we got and thought that based off of this scene right here that you guys see on the screen uh, between Kaba and Khalifa they thought that this essentially meant that Kale was going to be in the DLC as well it does not in any way shape or form now I know Kale was actually a part of this scene in the actual anime but you don't see her at all on this screen in any way shape or form not only that but when Khalifa was promoted as a character and the next character coming in the DLC pack nothing was mentioned about Kale again in any way shape or form also when she was promoted in the v-jump again nothing in regards to Kale was promoted along with this character guys so I want to kind of clear that up for people who might think or people who were thinking not even might think because I've seen it in the comments and I've seen it on Twitter people thinking that Kale was going to be a part of this DLC basically because Khalifa was announced and Khalifa has been shown in it and that is not the case guys one you see she is not confirmed or announced up until this point in time and then two in regards to why i don't think we'll see her at all in this dlc and why i say she has a very very slim chance if any to be announced at the next Canton city tv event is because that is the last Canton city tv event for this dlc guys the reason i say that is because when Canton city tv was introduced into xenoverse 2 the update that actually brought it to the game the homie Demon Boy did do some research and did do some data mining and things like that. I shouldn't even say research, but he did do some data mining and he found that there were four uh, special loading screens that were going to be added through Canton City. We've already gotten three of them through Canton City TV. So the next event that we do get will be the last one. Now I'm assuming this event will be somewhere at the beginning of October, just like all the others have been, and that this event will most likely be a wrap-up of the DLC in terms of covering everything that we're going to be getting, and then also showcasing and finally giving us a release date for this DLC at the same time, because that's usually what happens with the last thing of information that we get in regards to Xenoverse 2 DLC. Before it would be V-Jump scans, because V-Jump scans were the first way that we would get info in regards to DLC packs and things along those lines. But now, Canton City TV comes out two weeks or so, maybe even three weeks sometimes, before we actually get any information from V-Jump. So again, with Canton City TV being the new source of info, I'm assuming it's going to go along a similar way that they did with V-Jump scans and the last V-Jump scan and last Canton City TV event will be that one that kind of wraps up everything, most likely gives a full-on trailer for the DLC, and then also will probably give us a release date at the end at the same time, which again, I do expect this DLC to release in October, considering one, this is the last upcoming Canton City TV event for it, and then also, October 25th is the five-year anniversary for the game what better way to celebrate the game and kind of help you get some content and celebration stuff out than dropping the dlc during that time so again guys i, I really don't see kale being added in this dlc maybe if we get more dlcs or something like that in the future it definitely could be a thing but as of right now kale is not confirmed slash announced and it does not seem like she will be confirmed or announced for dlc pat 13. now with that being said guys I do want to take a look 
at the English translations for the V-Jump scans in regards to Khalifa, guys. Now, I want to give a shout out to the homies at the Dragon Ball Xenoverse Reddit. I will have it linked down below in the description if you guys want to join and become a member. Only reason I'm not a member is because I just don't even have a Reddit account. Just saying. Now, with that being said, there is a decent amount of information, but the main thing I really wanted to look at was the info that we have on the attacks. But really quickly, just taking a look at what it says right here. It says, in Legendary DLC Pack 2, Khalifa cuts the crushes the competition for the ultimate battle content that's what they're calling it ultimate battle continued pack that honestly makes sense in regards to that gogeta and jiren were already in the game and they are continuing these characters so i guess it makes sense in that regards just saying calling it the ultimate battle continued. like what kind of name is that ultimate battle continued what the hell have they got going on just saying now um, it says finding the big sister from uh, big sister Sam from universe 6 Khalifa is now playable with powerful attacks that hit multiple times strong key attacks and super fast moves She's a gifted fighter uh, Super move crush cannon a barrage of key blasts hold the button longer to charge up the attack and let it go to fire You can save the charge. Wait, what you can save the charge blast with the guard button Save it in terms of like put it in slight Put it in your pocket type shit and maybe it floats around you and then you just press another button to let it release and like use it in combo that that's that sounds kind of crazy but just for reference the move that is crush cannon guys is this attack right here this is crush cannon um we don't get the best look at it on the dragon ball official website and we haven't got the hd screenshots from the xenoverse 2 v jump scan but this is that attack right here i'm just really curious how the hell you're going to be keeping this move like basically in your pocket when you hit the guard button that sounds really really cool to be honest now moving on we have the uh second super double crush create multiple key blasts with both hands and release them all at the same time you can also leave them in place oh what wait a minute does it mean you can leave them in place similar to something like what Vados does where she can leave something in place but if she uses conductor the the move will like act upon and like chase down its opponent is that what that is saying because if so her moves seem kind of crazy and again taking a look at this move this is the move double crush that they are talking about and i'm assuming maybe this is what they mean like they're showing one picture where it's attacking goku and then they're also showing one picture where the things are stagnant and just above Khalifa. So, again, I'm curious as to whether or not there is a, well, I'm assuming there's a time limit on the activation. And then, two, how long is the time limit on this activation to where you can actually send them at your opponent? But her skills overall, man, are looking damn interesting, not going to lie. And then we have her ultimate attack, though, Crush Stream. After firing two key blasts, a power, uh, fire a powerful energy wave. Aim to hit uh, aim to hit with every stage. Warriors of Universe 6, Khalifa. Oh, that's the end of her description. So basically, the only description we have for the ultimate is after firing two key blasts, fire a powerful energy wave. I'm assuming it's saying like aim as in like, you know, if you aim in with a gun or something, aim to hit with every stage. Like it'll be optimal if you hit them with every part of it. That's all I'm assuming that means. Um, but besides that, guys, there's not much in regards to the outfits. We kind of already know that um and then also oh there's some info on the newest cutscene. i guess that'll be coming this is this is something i actually found interesting i'm not gonna lie to you because it says the continuation of the previous fire and destruction dlc a new x new ex mission few is conducting an experiment during the events of dragon ball super broly's appearance khalif was there too now i have multiple questions on this guys first and foremost why the hell is Khalifa there? This is something I've already talked about, but why the hell is Khalifa there? What is Few really doing to where Khalifa is there? And not only that, they are on a destroyed Namek, it seems like, based off of the gameplay trailer that we got for the man's Gogeta leading up until this point in time. So what the hell does Few really, really have going on to where he has them on a destroyed Namek with Gogeta and Broly to start? And then Khalifa also makes an appearance. And then on top of that, guys, this does not seem like the end of Fuse experiment. If you remember during the actual like trailer thing, actually, let's go back here. Let's go back to when Fuse was talking in the beginning. He, he mentions how he wants to show, he says, and now it's time to finally show off my findings. But if he was showing off his findings, he wouldn't continue on with the experiments. So I'm assuming we're going to see more of his quote unquote findings 
at the end of this DLC story. Like, after we do whatever the hell you got going on with Gogeta and Dragon Ball Super Broly and things like that, and Khalifa as well, I'm assuming then we will see more of an insight as to what the hell the purpose of this experiment actually is. But I definitely did find that interesting and really can't wait to see more on this story, guys. The story seems very, very interesting in my opinion, and by far the best DLC stories that we've gotten up until this point in time. The one from DLC 12 and the one that's going to be from DLC 13, in my opinion, again, are by far the best because they are the most original. Like, these are stories that seem more like, I'm, I'm not trying to say this to, to get people's hopes up or anything, but seem more like a Xenoverse 3 story or more of a storyline that would have been great for Xenoverse 2 because when you think about the regular storylines for Xenoverse, it involves Toa and Mira messing with the timeline. Well, with Few, he's messing with the timeline, but he's doing it on a whole nother level. So again, we haven't really had anything like this besides the base story that we get, and I truly think that this is even better than what we got with the base story because Few is just doing stuff on another level, like I said before. So again, man, very, very interested to see what the story is going to be doing, um, what direction it's going to take, all things like that. And then at the same time, the attacks from Khalifa are looking pretty damn good. I cannot lie to you. Overall, it does seem like our CACs will be getting a good, uh, I wouldn't even say a good amount, but the skills that we are getting are seeming to be pretty damn fire. Like Jiren's skills do look pretty good. Gogeta's skills, I cannot wait for that man's skills on my CAC. And then also now Khalifa's skills are also looking pretty good off of these descriptions as well. So again, man, let me know you guys' thoughts on this down below in the comments. And like I said before, Kale is not confirmed, announced, or anything like that for this DLC. And to be honest with you guys, I really don't even think she has that much of a chance to be announced in this DLC considering we only have one more Canton City TV event. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, hope you have a good day. Hey, y'all.